Netherlands and Denmark. No, it's uh, coming as a little bit of a surprise for me at that time, but now everything is, uh, has been happening very fast, and uh, now I, need, I enjoy the, this moment, and uh, for the summer I'm going to United, and I hope I will enjoy that too. Ajax tried to very hard to keep you. It was a straight fight between Spurs and Manchester United in England. Why did you choose United? I think from, uh, from the beginning I have uh, been healing to United a little bit. And uh, my meaning is that United is one of the biggest clubs in England. And that's why I'm, I'm going there. How long do you expect to stay at Old Trafford? Is the contract for two years, three years? The contract is for three years this time, yeah. Apart from your love of United, which I've heard you talk about, am I right to say that the other big appeal to you is the way that the game of football is played in England? Yeah, I like that uh, there's always a lot of people looking at the games there and uh, the game is uh, always uh, 90, mi 90 minutes uh, for 100%. And I think that uh, I will come to enjoy it. It's hard but fair in England. Yeah, sure. They are never uh, making uh, all the falls or something like that. We've seen you as a striker, Jesper, an old-style winger. We've see even seen you in midfield. What do you consider to be your best position? Now, I think uh, if I can play in the front, that's, that's very important for me. And if this uh, as a wing or a midfield, I, I think that's, uh, that's the same. It doesn't matter so much. But you do prefer to get up front and score the goals? Yeah, sure. Have you set any ambitions with United? For instance, you played at Wembley once, you enjoyed that experience. Do you dream of playing there again? Yes, yeah, sure. It should be nice to play there in a cup final or something like that. And uh, I hope that I will can reach that uh, with United. Having knocked out England and helped to knock out England, how well do you think Denmark will do in the European Championship finals? Now, I think that we have a good chance because there's eight teams uh, there and I cannot see any favourite in, the, in these eight teams, so I think that we have a good chance. Yes, but I'm uh, sorry, I'm delighted that things have gone so well for you since uh, that defeat that you suffered in your first league game in Naysved. Do you actually remember the score that day? Yeah, I remember it very well. It was 4-1 uh, the, for the other club, yeah. And I suppose I must ask you, do you think your goalkeeper was to blame at all? <laughs> no, I think that he uh, did very well uh, that day. Well, I don't think they'll believe it here, but yes, but thanks very much for being with us. We look forward to seeing you in a Manchester United shirt and hopefully to watching a repeat of goals like these. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Olsen, alleen tussen vier man. En hij komt eruit. Ondanks vijf stekers met name. En het is een doelpunt, een schitterende goal van Jasper Olsen. Not bad that last goal, was it? He only took on and beat five. Right, the only unbeaten club in Britain this season. Qualities. Quick, um, incisive, will score goals. And I tell you, he's got a quality that I think is going out of the game in this country. He's a brilliant dribbler. He turns and he attacks people. And I think that's, that's probably an art that's died in this country, and maybe in world soccer. Mm -hmm. And I don't, For me, I don't think there's anything more exciting than seeing a player go at defenders with the ball. Did you think the personal touch of going to Holland yourself convinced Olsen to sign for United? It may have done. I mean, we'd, um, I mean, it all sort of flared up really this week. Um, it was interesting really because at no time I had about four different meetings with him. And all we really did, you know, we just sat down and drank, drank a cup of tea and talked football. Didn't mention finance or anything like that. <coughs> um, big plus for us was he's got an almost sort of schoolboy enthusiasm for Manchester United. You know, he's a player, he's going to, hopefully he's going to be one of the best players they've had in years, but he's also a fan. 
And I think that's very, very important. And I think that may well have been the biggest, the biggest plus for us. His disappointed Dutch teammates respect Olsen's decision to move. And if his fan mail is restricted this week, it's only because Holland is hit by a postal strike. His skills are well known, of course, but he also has a mature sense of responsibility. In a number of matches, he's captained Ajax. But what's the appeal of the Manchester United shirt? Television provides part of the answer. Yeah, in Denmark, when they were playing for the window, we had, on Saturday afternoon, we had uh, a game from the English First Division. And United was very often playing in uh, the television, so there I had the chance to see them also. Was, was there any particular players from that Manchester United side that caught your eye when you were watching as a little lad? Yeah, especially one, uh, Gordon Hill was, uh, I was, I'd like to watch and, uh, but at that team there was also Stuart Pearson, Jimmy Greenoff, Brian Greenoff and so, I, f I found it a very good team, yeah. Can I ask you about your, your style of play, because Ron Atkinson has said this week that you're one of what we call a dying breed, that there aren't players who can do the things with the ball that you yeah. can do. Before I went to Ajax, also I, in Denmark, I just played the same play as I'm playing now. Uh, I always like to have the ball and uh, to uh, to pass a man. So, and I, I think that's the play I always had played. And nobody has said to me that I should play in uh, in another way. So, which position Olsen will fill is now Ron Atkinson's problem. One man in no doubt is Ard de Moss, the Ajax coach. I think the best position in the 4-4-2 system is to play behind uh, Stapleton on the right side, Muren on the left side, in the position of uh, Ray Wilkins. And then with uh, Moses and uh, Robson, I think that's the best position to attack, to make the 1-2 combination with Stapleton on the right side. But his best position is in the middle, in the middle of the field. So you play against Fienoort, you play his best match on the, in the middle of the field. But wherever Olsen plays, there's certainly going to be one change, the number on his shirt. I always, uh, you and I have number seven, and <laughs> that's a little bit difficult now because I know that Robson, Brian Robson had number seven. You won't be asking Brian Robson if you can have the number seven. No, I will not do that this season. And they on Sunday can make a good game and win it. And I uh, look forward to see them all in, in England and June.